guys, how you doing? This is Queen Fingada, First Aid Responder Services. I'm here in downtown Boston at the Massachusetts Department of Mental Health. I'm here on 25 Stadford Street at the Massachusetts Department of Public Health, where they provide a lot of mental health services as well as addiction recovery services. So it's pretty much general as you can see. As you can see. Somebody 
at these 1,000 protests, 5,000 protests, 10,000 people protest, as well as the local conventions are actually able to get patients from these facilities are actually able to get in contact with the local public. And the local public may have no idea. Because there is no guard around these facilities. There are no guard. It's pretty much free and liberal because it is Massachusetts. It is Massachusetts, okay? It is Massachusetts. Everything is more open and, and wide, okay? Again, especially with the with the state house, they got they have it gated. But for here in this state run psychiatric facility, it is not guarded and it is not gated. As well as a federal building, it is not guarded and it is not gated. Usually, if you go to a psychiatric facility, it is gated and it is guarded. But in Massachusetts, it's a little bit different. Okay. you have to be a little bit more careful and a little bit more cautious now if you are in extreme distress and you need assistance I would not suggest coming to here because if you come to these facilities and they're run by the state they will commit you for more than 30 days okay you will be committed for 30 days and it usually takes a judge judge's order not a judge's order by your by the permission of your family or your loved ones to get you released from these facilities. Okay. Now, if you are also in trouble, if you get into trouble with the law enforcement at a political fundraiser or a political event, if you get into trouble, you can either be legally jailed for problems or they can legally have you committed. And rather than send you to jail or rather than send you to a local public hospital facility. They will send you to a state-run, private, state-run public psychiatric institution because you get in trouble at a political fundraiser where there are candidates at these events. Okay, so please, please, please be a little cautious out there. Okay, it is COVID. It is political season. It's presidential season. Take care of you and your loved ones. Okay, now. If you're in the medical field, you are still able to do your duty, duty of care, okay? Now, if people on the street are suggesting you do one thing and you are mentally bound and mentally of a sound mind to perform a medical service, and yes, you can perform that medical service regardless if it's a street law or regardless if people on the street are saying this or you have not been legally notified by legal authorities to do what they're asking you. If you have not been legally authorized and legally notified by authorities to perform the service, then no, you are not legally bound. As well as if you do not have a doctor's order, but you are in the medical field and you do not have a doctor's order to do what people on the street are telling you to do, then therefore you are not legally bound to do what the people on the street are telling you to do. So, so, for, so for me, for instance, for a, sec, for a second, I'm in the medical field. I have not had a job. I'm doing, I have a, a medical clinic as well as I'm taking education classes for, for medical school, for nursing school, community health, okay? As well as I am single, a single female, okay? People on the street are telling me, you need to do this. You need a man, you need counseling, but at the same time though, because I do not have a doctor's order or a doctor's prescription in order to do this, therefore I am not legally bound. It doesn't have anything to do with the judge's order. It doesn't have anything to do with law enforcement. If I do not have a doctor's order, then I am not legally bound to what the street law is, okay? Now you are still authorized in order to perform medical duties as a medical professional, as a medical ally professional, you are still licensed. If you are still licensed and bound to perform medical services, then yes, you are able to perform medical services. Okay. The only way you would not be able to perform medical services if you have been legally, criminally convicted of a criminal offense or if somebody has been abused and you have been notified that somebody has been abused and it has been reported 
to your attention under your care. If you have been convicted of a criminal offense or if somebody has abused and it has come to your attention, they have been abused under your care, then therefore you are not, you are legally not able to perform your medical services, okay? The only way you can get out of that is if you have to go through the local boards and your licensing agency, ask them, am I still able to be for medical services as well as go through the criminal process, go through the probation period, pay off the fines, as well as every single licensed medical professional has insurance. They have liability insurance, doctors, nurses, everybody has liability insurance, okay? Liability insurance. Everybody has liability insurance. Even if you're a CNA, you are still authorized to have medical liability insurance. Therefore, if anybody comes into indirect care or have a conflict or is, is um, convicted or is pretty much in trouble under your care, then you have the liability insurance to take care of them and address any kind of concerns that that person may have been medically mishandled or medically treated. Hello, how are you? Good, good. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just, I'm on my YouTube. I do first aid, community health. Oh, okay. I'm going, I, I just came back from the convention. Oh, okay. And what's your name? You come in, you come in, you come in. Come in. Oh, no, uh, maybe that's uh, time. It's Friday. Are you okay? No, no, I have, a, I have an office downtown. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm you have your own private business? Yeah, my own private business. I don't want to take the phone. Oh, good. Do yeah. you have your, your car? Or? Check me out. Come in, come in. Battle for the day. Can I give you my car? Yes, yeah, please. Okay. I'm going to Charlotte. I just came back to the East of Milwaukee, and Monday I'm going to Charlotte. Okay, good. And it's next Friday, I'm going to East Milwaukee. Good. So, uh, tell me again, what, uh, what, 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 what is the nature of the business? Uh? I do community health, and I do a lot of You're a medical doctor? Uh, I'm, I'm a community health. Okay. It says I'm licensed, but I'm not. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless. You too. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You too. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. God bless. Okay. So again, be sure to get you and your guys' uh, attention, okay? If there are any kind of <laughs> political trouble, <laughs> you get criminally infected or you can get committed, okay? Pretty much want to be sure and notified of that and the services of that as well okay all right so again as a first responder and as a medical professional you want to try your best to take care of your own mental health mental health eat right drink plenty of water exercise good exercise good yoga and therapy is good Talk to your family, talk to your loved ones, pretty much doing what you can in order to be able to best provide care for yourself, care for your mental health, your physical health, and your emotional health, as well as being able to take care of the health and business of you and your community and your loved ones. Okay, it's very, very important about that. Letting other people know you need help as well as being a help to the, to the community and other people. Okay. Okay. It's a lot, it's a lot. Every single day it's another issue. Every single day it's another issue. Every single day it's another issue. But because you are in the medical field, you have to do your very best in order to take care of your issues as well as being a need, being ready and available to be a need for yourself and the community at large, okay? That is what it's pretty much all about, helping yourself and then being able to help other people in return, okay? All right, so this is Queen Battle First Aid Responder Services coming live from the state run facility, the state run Department of Mental Health Services here in Boston, Massachusetts. I'm, I'm, I'm videoing, I'm videoing. 
I'm DOing. God bless you. Yes. I'll take your battle first aid. Bye. Bye. Okay, so again, as a medical professional, you want to best be able to take care of yourself, your own personal health, as well as being a help to yourself, as well as being a help to other people in need. Okay? All right, so this is the battle for battle first aid responder services live from the capital of Massachusetts here in Boston, Massachusetts, here at the state run facility, the state run Department of Mental Health State facility, okay? You are in this, you're in the jailhouse or you're in this facility for more than 30 days. You are committed for more than 30 days and it usually is a judge approved commitment. You come here voluntarily or you can be judge ordered committed. Okay, all right, so this is the clean battle from the certified adult and pediatric first aid certified, nationally certified clinical medical assistant, community health advocate, peer support, adolescents and adult first aid, suicide prevention services, Licensed narcon, uh, narcon opioid adults, overdose assistance as well. Being out here, being a need to those in need. We have a lot to do. And COVID is not over, but it is a general, general, general overview for you and your family and your loved ones. You gotta take care of your health, your mental health, your physical health, as well as your emotional health in order to get pretty much back in the needs as well. You do that, you do the physical community health activism, and then right now we're gonna get those numbers of the CDC needs. Get those numbers in, get those numbers in, get those numbers in. Get those numbers. There's a community activism, and then we'll get the numbers in, the numbers in, the numbers in. That's pretty much how it works. Okay? All right, this is a clean coming live from the capital of Massachusetts in Boston, Massachusetts. Okay? And here at the state run, state run Massachusetts Department of Health, mental health facility. This is guarded. This is not a community facility. This is not a community clinic. This is not a local community clinic. This is guarded and bound. How do you know? It's guarded. Look, it is locked up. You are locked up in this motherfucker right here. You are locked up. It is locked up and bounded. Locked up. Literally locked up. You are locked up. It's not, it's not, hey, let's go to the clinic today. Uh-uh. This is state-run approved mental health facility. <laughs> They have a couple of other Massachusetts uh, uh, departments here, but this is state-run, baby. This is state-run facility. This is a state-run facility, baby. It is guarded and bound. This is bounded, baby. Okay, all right, so this is a queen battle. Certified adult uh, pediatric first aid. <laughs> Are you much to get out of here? Uh, beautiful Friday, Friday, August the 21st, coming live from the capital of Massachusetts here in Boston. A lot more to do, a lot more services to provide for the community, okay? Here at the Massachusetts State-run Department of Mental Health.